Manga Wido. I'm Riho Yamakawa. I'm in fifth grade. I was a shy kid who always hid behind my mother since I was young. I don't know how to talk to boys in particular, despite that there was one boy I could talk to normally. It's Ryota Ishii who I've known since kindergarten. In elementary when I was playing with blocks by myself. Let's play together over there! Ryota was the one who pulled me by the hand. Now we're in the same class sitting next to each other. Riho! We're in the same group for the next school trip! Let's have fun! Y yeah I heard there's rare insects in Mount Manwa. Dad said so. Let's go get them. But, but, I can't touch bugs. You can't? Then I'll catch it and show you. Okay, thanks. I always apologize in my head for not being able to talk to him properly. Despite that, Ryo Takuno always talked to me without making a sour face. He's really nice. I secretly long Ryo Takun for being so sociable. But one day, we stopped talking. That was when we were at the school trip. After playing Uno in the common room in the dormitory, we were talking about going back to our room to sleep. Ryota, come here for a minute. The teacher came to call Ryota in a panic. And then Ryota left the dormitory and never came back. At that time, there was no detailed explanation from the teacher. So we were all worried about what had happened. The next day, as soon as I got home, my mother told me that Ryota's house had caught fire. I was speechless. Apparently, a littered cigarette caught fire in Ryota's yard and caught on fire. Not only did the house burn down, but Ryota's father and mother were too late to notice the fire and passed away. Only a sister managed to escape with the help of the firefighters, but she was in the hospital for her burns. What should I say to Ryota? It's okay to be the same as usual, but maybe Ryota won't be coming to school anymore. What? Why? I don't know what's going to happen, but if he goes to a shelter... Isn't there a shelter nearby? No, it's in the next town over. No! Ryota didn't come to school. We were all worried that we wouldn't see him again. But the next month, Ryota came back to school. Ryota, thank God! We were worried because he didn't come for a long time. We were worried you might change schools. Sorry for worrying you guys. I'm gonna live with my uncle so I won't have to change schools anymore. Isn't your uncle's house the one right in front of the station? Yeah, it's a bedding store. I'm gonna come eat from here from my uncle's house until graduation. Let's all hang out again! Ryota kun smile with his usual kind face, but he doesn't have the same energy as before. I heard my mother and the neighbors talking, but it sounds like the situation is pretty complicated. I can only look after one child financially. Ryota's uncle said that and refused to take his sister in who was a high schooler. His sister. I can go to high school from the facility. She encouraged Ryota to live with his uncle. But the truth is, the uncle and his wife said they didn't want to take his sister in because of the burns on her face. What? That's horrible. After that, Ryota continued to go to school normally. He was laughing and joking around like before and seemed to have recovered. But most of her classmates noticed that he was just acting cheerful. I think all the girls in particular noticed it. Some of the boys did not understand that. Ryota, I'm so glad that you're fine. And frolic naively. As for Ryota, he seemed to be more comfortable hanging out with boys like that, so we often saw him talking with them. At first, we were being very sensitive towards him, but we were able to close the distance gradually. Then one day... Due to an electrical problem in the lunchroom, they won't be able to prepare school lunch for a while. What? So we have to skip lunch? I don't want to do that! Please bring your own lunch for a week starting next week. It's written on a printout, so be sure to give it to your parents. If you forget, you'll have to skip lunch, so be careful. Yes! The following week, bringing lunch boxes reminded me of this field trip. I was a little excited. Everyone seemed to be the same, and we're looking forward to lunch. Come lunchtime, we open up our lunch boxes. Wait, Ryota, just a slice of bread? Oh, Auntie said that's all I need. What? That's not enough, right? Oh, you can have some of this if you want. I plated some of my side dishes on the lid with the pig and handed it to him. Ryota seemed reserved. My mother got excited and ate too much. She will be happy if I take it home with leftovers, so I appreciate if you have some. I told him that and he ate it all. Thanks, it was really good. I'm glad. School lunches were the only decent meal I could have, so not having that was pretty troubling. Wait, what do you mean by only decent meal? Auntie doesn't give me much food. I see. I was quite stunned and didn't know how to reply. 
I came home and casually told my mother about my conversation with Ryota. He said he doesn't get food at home. I want to share more with him, so can you pack a lot from tomorrow? And my mother's face turned grim. The next day, my mother made two lunches for me. Ryota was surprised when I gave it to him, but he seemed really happy and ate it thanking me over and over again. Even after school lunches resumed, whenever we saw each other... Ryo, your mother's omelet was super tasty. I envy you for being able to eat food like that every day. I was happy when he gave me a compliment. But it was only for about a month that I could see a smile like that. Ryota suddenly transferred to a different school. I later heard that my mother had consulted the ward welfare office about him not getting food at home. Apparently, Ryota's uncle had taken him in for the money he had received from the government. He didn't give him much food. A few weeks after Ryota transferred schools, he and his sister came to our house to say hello. Thank you so much. It was my fault for sending him to her uncle. I made the mistake of thinking it was better for him to grow up in a normal home than an institution. It's not your fault. You did your best. If there's anything I can do to help you in the future, let me know. Yes, thank you. I will never forget this favor. Thank you very much. Your lunch was delicious. I'll be sure to return the favor someday. Thanks, Riho. Let me thank you again when I see you next time. Yeah, take care, Ryota. Come visit me at school again. We'll all be waiting for you. Yeah, thanks. I'll definitely see you again. Rumor had it that the betting shop owned by Ryota's uncle went out of business. But he had done a Ryota spread amongst the parents and the customers stopped coming. I passed by a year later and it was an empty house. Ryota, who was now living in an institution, wrote to me several times to let me know how he was doing. But they decreased to twice a year, then once a year, and eventually stopped coming. I went through middle school and high school, graduated from college, and now I'm an adult. During that time, I never saw Ryota the reunions that was held several times. By the way, I saw that guy Ryota in the next town. I saw him too. He got really tall. He was shopping with his sister. Hearing such rumors? Oh, he's doing well. Good. And I was happy. But we never ended up seeing each other. I hope we can meet somewhere someday. One day, when I was thinking about that, in the middle of the night, I woke up to black smoke coming into the room. Wait, what? Smoke? Dad? Mom? I looked outside and saw the house next door burning bright red. It's a fire! It caught onto her house! I somehow managed to move my shaking legs and went to look for my parents who were supposed to be sleeping in the other room. But that was a mistake. My parents had already evacuated and were calling me from outside. It was only after I was surrounded by fire that I recognized their voices. Help! S somebody! <coughs> no! I'm not going to make it just when I was about to give up. Are you all right? Riho! The firefighter suddenly came in and called my name, and I remember being surprised and at the same time terribly relieved at the sound of his voice. Huh? H who? It's me, Ryota! It's going to be okay! I'll save you! No way, Ryota? After that, I was held in a daze, and I vaguely remember making it outside. When I woke up, my parents were crying in front of me in the hospital. Riho, oh Riho, you noticed! Ryota came to save me. Was that a dream? It wasn't a dream. Ryota became a firefighter. It was Ryota who saved you without a doubt. After I was discharged from the hospital, I went to the fire station to thank Ryota and was greeted with a smile who had grown much taller and built since his elementary school days. Riho, thank God you're out of the hospital. Ryota, thank you for saving me. He became a firefighter. Wow, you're so cool. Thank you so much. You saved Riho. If you hadn't told me, wait here, I'll save her, I would have jumped into the fire myself. Thank you so much. Oh no, please look up. I was just doing my duty. If anything, I'm glad I was able to return the favor to Riho and her mother. After Ryota left the facility, he lived with his sister who was an irreplaceable family member. As time went on, I went to work to save people like the firefighter who saved my sister. He started thinking like that. The exams were really hard, but I'm glad I didn't give up. I was able to save you like this, Riho. That's amazing. You must have worked so hard, Ryota. After that, we started talking frequently, and I would bring gifts to the fire station we came closer. We eventually started dating. And three years after the fire, we got married. His sister, whose burn scars were healed with the money Ryota gave her as a gift, also got married at the same time. We got married on the same day at the same place. I wonder if mom and dad are watching us in heaven. 
Yeah, I'm sure they're thinking fine feathers make fine birds. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Don't worry, Ryota. You're the coolest groom in the world. Oh my, Riho is so sweet. You're lucky to have such a nice wife, Ryota. Yeah, she's the best wife in the world. Ryota had a terrible childhood all his life, so I want to make an ordinary but warm home for him. Ryota, keep up the good work. I'll make sure to be a great wife to support Ryota as a firefighter.